Hello, my name is Jack Oxel with Tackle HD, and I'm going to be showing you the Brush Buster kit that we just came out with. Uh, it's a 42 piece kit with uh, various colors, and um, and we've got some weights and hooks in here. Um, green pumpkin is a great color. Pumpkin seed is a classic. June bug is one of my favorites when you've got some dirty water. Or, I don't know what it is about bigger bass, but they just love that June bug color. Watermelon red is a great color for clear water. And then we've also got a black with red flake for, for dirty water or uh, more stained water conditions. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to rig it. Uh, this is the hook and the weight that comes with the kit. Very simple, very easy. And um, what you want to do is you want to Texas rig it to, so where it doesn't get hung up on cover. Um, I'm gonna, there's a top and a bottom and I'm just going to go right through the middle of this thing. Go in about not quite half an inch and take it back out. Slide the brush buster down the hook shank. Pull it around the bend. The bend of the hook is what holds the bait on there. And then I'm going to kind of eyeball it and see where it's going to come through. I'm going to pinch up the bait just a little bit. Poke the hook through. See the hook there? The hook point. Be careful with this too. And then just stick it right back in, in there. That way the hook point is concealed. You can go through cover without getting hung up. But it could pop through if you need it to. When you, you know, when you get a bite, you can set the hook through there. That's what it's going to look like here. Make sure it's just, she's straight. Um, this is a three out, three eighths ounce weight. It's great for going down deep. If you want to put a lighter weight on too, you could do that also. Um, you know, I've got this rigged on a seven foot, uh, seven foot three medium heavy rod. You don't want to go anything real light. You know, you could go down to say ten pound test as your lightest, but you know, something that, uh, you know, 10, 12, 14 pound test kind of range. Um, very versatile lure. Um, it catches them in a, in a, you know, rivers, lakes, everything from tournament fishermen to beginner fishermen use these baits. They've been around for a long time. And, and now they've come out with a nice kit with a variety of colors. It just makes it easy. And um, it's a great bait. So check it out. Hello everyone, it's Jack Uxa here with Tackle HD, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy knot called a polymer. Um, what you do is you take your, uh, your fishing line and your eye of the hook, you put the line through the eye, turn it around, go back through the opposite direction. Now I'm going to pull out a little extra line. Okay, now I'm going to make an overhand knot. See there? I kind of snug it down a little bit. Now I'm going to put the lure through the loop. Okay. Now I'm going to moisten it just a touch. And now I'm going to pull the tag in with my tooth. Now I didn't cut through the line. I have scissors for that. This is your tag in. Cut that. Now I'm going to make sure it's all tight, just like so. Now, that's your polymer knot. I want you to try this and practice it at home before you guys go out to the lake. And um, if you practice this, for, you know, for two or three nights beforehand, um, just tie it, cut it, tie it again. You know, you do that several times, you'll have it in, in a short period of time. And, um, and that's it. It's a great knot. I've been using it for 30 years. It's easy. Uh, that's about it. Tight lines.